We continue, ladies and gentlemen, with our afternoon worship. And uh, I invite you to begin on page 324 with our sages taught. Our sages taught Isaac established the Mincha afternoon prayer. As the Torah said, Isaac went out walking the Suach to the field towards evening. The word Lesuach mean, refers to prayer, as the psalmist said, a prayer for the lowly person when he is faint and pours out his plea, Sicha. Late in the afternoon, tired and faint, Isaac wandered in the fields and he opened his heart to God. Do you remember, he asked, how I lay on the altar of Moria a long time ago? Now, ladies and gentlemen, I invite you to turn to page 328, Kriyata Torah. It has come to pass in the fullness of time that the mountain of the house of God shall be established as the highest mountain and raised above the hills and all nations shall flow to it. And then many people shall say, come, let us go up to the mountain of the eternal, to the house of the God of Jacob. And they shall say, please, that we may walk in your path. We give thanks today for a Torah of life, the way of kindness, mercy, and truth. May compassion be our source of sustenance now, as in our people's past. May our souls withstand times of crisis, and our hearts the inclination to evil. May the covenant of Abraham and Sarah strengthen our will to do what is right. May the qualities of mercy and goodness, love and forgiveness flow through our lives. And let us be strong in a perilous world. Let us open our hearts to the path of Torah. And when the ark went out into the wilderness, Moses would say, go forth Adonai. May your enemies be scattered. May your enemies flee before you. We're going to continue now with the service, and uh, it is my delight to invite up Spencer, who's going to help us with the Torah. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad, Echad Eloheinu, Gadol Adonai Kadosh Benora Shemo, Gadlu Ladnaiti, Romimo Shemo Yakdal, come magnify Adonai with me and let us celebrate his name. Lecha Adonai HaGevura Thank you. 
So please be seated, everyone. So uh, I have uh, an unusual amount of forethought actually found for people to do the uh, aliyah before uh, I start calling it out. So, um, and uh, I don't have a designated um, uh, goodbye, but that's all right. Uh, we'll fake it, and if you need to correct me, you, you correct me. All right, so we're going to begin with Ya Yamod, Aaron Verschel, Ben Shmuel, Ruvain. Harry, will you come on up? And Okay, and we are going to be in the uh, book of Leviticus, at the very middle of the book. Uh, it will be what is called by modern biblical scholars, the Holiness Code. Now, uh, it is a whole pastiche of uh, different kinds of rules and laws, some of which are agricultural, many of which are moral. I, again, I'm gonna skip around a little bit to keep us focused, but when, when it's agricultural and it's moral, I'll bring it up. And um, you should be aware that in a traditional shul, what we read in the afternoon is actually Leviticus 16, uh, which is uh, uh, who you should and should not have sex with. Uh, I guess that was really much more important to traditional Jews to be aware of that. Uh, we, we used to live in smaller communities, so who knows? Anyway, but we focus on the Holiness Code. Would you please Where are we? Uh, start right there? Baruch et Adonai Hamvarach. Baruch Adonai Hamvarach le'olam va'ed. Baruch Adonai Hamvarach le'olam va'ed. Baruch et Adonai Eloheinu melech ha'olam asher bachar banu mikol ha'amim. Benatan lanu et Torah to Baruch ata Adonai no tain ha Torah. Amen. V'yidber Adonai el Moshe lemor diber el kol adat bnei Yisrael v'amarta alehim kiddushim tihiyu ki kadosh ani Adonai elohechem ish imov aviv tirau ve'et shav totai tishmaru ani Adonai. Elohechem el tifnu el ha'elilim ve'elohe masecha lo ta'asu. Bechol ani Adonai Elohechem. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech ha'olam asher natan lanu Torah temet v'chai olam nata bitochenu Baruch ata Adonai, no tain ha Torah. Amen. Stick with me. Yamod uh, Avigdor ben Israel Varon will. Um, oh, wait, that was Spencer. Oh, I'm sorry. I one eye down. <laughs> sorry. Uh, Yamod Beryl ben Meir Yita. Come on up, Barry. Baruch Hu et Adonai Hamvarach. Baruch Adonai Hamvarach le'olam va'ed. Baruch Adonai Hamvarach le'olam va'ed. Baruch Adonai. Oh, no, we're wrong. Baruch Ator Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam, Asher Belchan Bonu Mikol Hamim, Vitanatonu et Torso. Baruch Ator Adonai. Nothing Hatoram. And here we have an agricultural but moral rule also. Uv kutzrachem et katsir artsachem lo tilake paat sedcha lixor velechet katsercha et tilokeit ukarmacha lo tolel uferet karmacha lo tilakeit. Leoni velager, excuse me. Ta'azov otam ani Adonai elohechem. 
lo tignavu velo tkashashu velo tshakru ish beimo imato velo tishbau bshmi lashaker. Okay. So uh, the translation of that is, when you are harvesting your fields, uh, don't harvest all the way to the corner of your field, uh, and don't take the gleanings uh, of your harvest. Uh, uh, don't uh, uh, allow things to, to, don't gather up everything. And when it comes to your grape vines, uh, don't gather the fallen uh, of the fruit of your um, of your vineyard, uh, you uh, you shall rather leave the um, gleanings for the poor and for the resident alien, uh, and uh, you shall uh, and you shall uh, in, allow them to have it. I am Adonai, your God. Uh, don't engage in uh, theft, theft, and don't oppress. Uh, don't. Um, uh, don't that's what I want. Uh, don't perjure yourself, a man uh, concerning his neighbor, and lo, uh, do not take my name as an empty thing uh, when you swear. Baruch Ator Denoi Eloheinu Melch Alam Asher Not Hanlon Torah Emet Vayil Olam. Notan Pisotrakenu, Baruch Hator Denoi, Notain Hator Amen. So, uh, Yam Du Shoshana Bat Matsyahu Verhana Hashli Shi. Baruch Atanai Hamvarach. Baruch Atanai Hamvarach Leolam Vaed. Baruch Atanai Hamvarach Leolam Vaed. Baruch Atanai Eloheinu Melech Alam. Asher Bachar Banu Mikohamim. Benatan Lanu Et Torah Tov. Baruch Atanai Noten Hatorah. Amen. Dechilalta Et Shem Elochecha Ani Atanai Lo Taasu. Et reecha velo tigzol lo talin peulat sakir sakir ad boker lo tikalel keresh velifne iver lo tihiu mikshol v'raita ma'elohecha ani arunai lo taasu avel b'mishpat lo tisap neidal velo tadar Pne Gadol, Vetzedek Tishpot Amitecha, Lo Telech Rachil, Vamecha, Lo Tamod Aldam Reecha, Ani Aronai, Lo Tisna et Achicha Belavavacha, Hokeach Tichoach et Amitecha, Velo Tisa Alav, Chet, Lo Takom, Velo Titor, Et bene amecha, the havta lorecha, kamocha, ani arunai elohecha. So uh, you shall uh, not curse the name of your God. Uh, I am the Lord. You shall not um, uh, oppress your neighbor. You shall not uh, rob him, nor shall you hold on to the wages of a worker until the morning after their work. Uh, you shall not curse the deaf, nor shall you put a stumbling uh, block or any sort of object in front of the blind. Uh, rather, you should fear uh, your God. I am the Lord. Uh, do not engage in any perversion of justice. Uh, do not uh, defer to the poor, nor should you um, curry favor with the great. Uh, in, only in justice shall you uh, judge your people. Uh, do not uh, go around uh, bearing tales uh, or gossip uh, and about your people. Do not uh, stand indifferent when your neighbor is bleeding. 
I am Adonai, your God. Uh, do not uh, bear uh, hatred to your neighbor in your heart. Uh, you may surely reprove them. Uh, you may reprove your people, but don't do it to the extent that you bring sin upon yourself. Um, do not, uh, the came. Do not deceive and uh, do not uh, misguide uh, the children of your people. Uh, rather, you should love your neighbor as yourself. I am the Lord. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech ha'alam Asher natan lanu Torah temet Dechayi olan nata batochinu Baruch atah Adonai Noten ha'torah Amen Come stand over here. And then, let's see, here we go. Yamod Gershon Svi Ben Rachmel Reuven Ha Rabbi our fourth. Come on up, Gary. Baruch et Adonai Hamvorach. Baruch Adonai Hamvorach le'olam va'ed. Baruch Adonai Hamvorach le'olam va'ed. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam. Asher b'achar banu mikol ha'amim. Benatan lanu et Torato. Baruch Ata Adonai Noten ha'Torah. Amen. Mitnei seva takum v'hadarta. Pnei Zaken, Vigra Melo Elohecha, Ani Aronai, Ki Yagur Itcha Gerb Artsechem, Lo Tonu, Oto, Keeretz, Mihem Yihye Lechem, Hager Hagar Etchem, Vahavta Lo Kamocha, Ki Gerim Hayitem, Beeretz Mitzrayim, Ani Aronai Elohecha. Lo ta'asu avel b'mishpat, b'mida, u'mikshkol, u'mesura, mosnei tzedek, avnei tzedek, eifat tzedek, v'hin tzedek yihye lechem. Ani Adonai Elohechem asher hotzeti etem me'eretz Mitzrayim, u'shmartem kol hukotai ve'et kol mishpatai v'asita etem, ani Adonai. All right, so uh, you should uh, always show deference towards uh, the elderly. You should always rise in the presence of uh, a gray hair. Uh, you, shall, um, you shall fear your God. I am the Lord. Um, if someone should dwell in your midst, an a alien uh, in your land, you shall not oppress him. Uh, you shall treat him as if he were uh, homeborn. Uh, uh, let's see. The, uh, the alien who lives in your midst and you shall love him uh, like your own because uh, you were Gerim in the land, uh, resident aliens in the land of Egypt. I am Adonai, your God. Uh, do not make any sort of distortion uh, or uh, manipulation in any sort of judgment and in any sort of uh, scale or measure, uh, or, yeah, scale or measure, uh, uh, in Mosnei um, Tzedek, uh, hold on, it's going to come to me in just a moment, uh, in any um, dry weight, in any uh, wet weight, uh, that is liquid weight, uh, in any uh, uh, scale uh, of metal, uh, and uh, any, um, what's the word I want? Like grain, uh, loose weight, uh, you, will, uh, you will maintain uh, fair weights uh, for yourself. I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt and uh, uh, watched over you. Uh, do all of my uh, ordinances and all of my rules, and you shall do them, for I am the Lord.
Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher natan lanu Torah demet, v'chai olam natah betochinu, Baruch atah Adonai, Noten ha-Torah, Amen. All right, I'm going to invite Spencer back up, and that would be uh, Av uh, Avigdor uh, ben Israel, no, uh, Avigdor Israel ben Aharon, is that correct? All right, he is our Magbia. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. And turn it towards the congregation. There we go. The Zot HaTorah, Asher Samoshe, Lifnei Bnei Yisrael, Api Adonai, Beyad Moshe. Yai da dai 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 dai, Yai dai 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 dai, Yai dai dai dai. Possibilities here. here we go. All right, we're going to continue now with the Haftorah uh, and the reading of Jonah. And it is my privilege to invite up, what is your Hebrew name, my dear? Tamod? Shane Gital Bat Eliahu. Bat Eliahu Hamaftir. To use this. Okay, you go ahead. It prints better. I understand. Okay. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Bachar Bin Bihim Tovim Ratha V'divrehem Hane Amarim Be'emet Maruch atah Adonai Habocher b'Torah U'Moshe Abdo U'Yisrael Amo U'Vinvei Ha'emet V'Tzedek Bahi Devar Adonai El Yonah Ben Amitai Lemor Kuhum Leich El Ninvei Ha'ir ha'gdola kra aleha ki al tara atam lufanai bayakam yona livroach tarshisha milif neyad anoi bayred yafo bayim saniyab a tarshish bayitain sachara. Vayered balavo imahem tarshisha milif ne adonoi vadonoi he til rakadola el hayam vahisa argado vayam vahania chishva vahisha veir vairu hamalachim vayzaku. Ishel Elohav, Bayatilu et Hakelim, Asher Baniya El Hayam, Lahakel Me Alehem, Liana Yarad El Yarte Hasfina, Vaishkav Vairadam. Vai krav e lav, rav ha choveil, vai yom elo malacha nirdam kum, kra el el hecha, ulai 
Yidasheid Ha Elohim Lanu Velo Noveid Yamru Ish El Reehu Lahu Bana Pila Koralot Bana Bashalmi Hara Ahazot Lanu Via Pilu Koralot by Paul Hagoral Aliona Bamru e love Hagida na lanu Ba ashe Lemi hara ahazot lanu Mama wataha Ume ayin tabo Ma artaha The emise am ata by a mere alehem ivri anohi, the et adonai elohe ashamayim aniyare asher asa et hayam the et hayabasha by ruhanashim yiragadola by mure love mazot asita. Ki adu ha anashim, ki mi lifne adonoi hu vorea, ki gid lahem, vayamru e lav, manas elach, vayishtak hayam mealenu, ki hayam holech vesoher, Amer alehem sauni bahati luni el hayam vaish takayam me alehem ki yodea ani ki vesheli hazar hagadol haza alehem. Bachteru ha anashim la hashiv el hayabasha lo yacholu ki hayam holech the so air alehem vaykru el adonoi vamru anadonoi al na nofda. Benefesh haish hazeh, ba'al titen aleinu dam naki. Ki atah adonai, kasher chafatsta asita. Vaisu et yonah, vaitiluhu el hayam. Vayamod hayam mizapoh. Vayeru ha'anashim yiragdola et adonai vayzbuchut sevach ladonai vayru nedarim vayman adonai dagadol livloa et yonah vayiona. Bime hadag shaloshayamim ushloshalelot vayit palel yonah el adonoi elohav mime haragah vayomer karati mitzarali el adonoi via aneni. Mi beten sha'o shabati shemat ha koli batash licheni mitzula bilvav yamim venahar yisovveni kol mishbarecha begalecha alai avaru vani amarti nigrashti mineged enecha. O siv lahabid el hechal kad shecha afafuni mayim ad nefesh tohom yisoveni sufchavush laroshi lekitvei harim yarati haaretz. Barichah va'adil olam 
Ba'ata Adonai, Kachna et Nafshi, Mimani Ki, Tov Moti, Mechayai, Vayome Adonai, Ahetet, Haralach, Vayetze Yona, Mina Ir, Vayeshev Mikedam, La Ir, Vayas. Lo sham sukavayeshev taktaha batzelad asher yira maya ba'ir vayman adonai Elohim kikayon vayal mealiona biotzel al roshaho Lahati lo mera ato by smach yona al hakikayon sim chagdola by man ha Elohim tolaat ba alot ha shachar lemacharat ba tach et hakikayon by vash by he kizroach hashemesh. By man Elohim Ruach Kadim Harishit Vatach Hashemesh Al Roshona Vitalaf Vaishal et Nafshola Mut Vayomer Tov Moti Mechayai Vayomer Elohim Eliona Haitet Haralach al hakikayon, vayomer hetev harali ad mavet, vayomer adonoi, atachasta al hakikayon, asher lo almata bovelo kidalto, shebin laila haya. Uvin Laila Abad Baani Lo Ahus Alin Veha Ir Hagdola Asher Yeshba Harbe Mish Tamas Ray Rebo Adam Asher Lo Yada Ben Yamino Lismolo Uvema Raba Maruch Atadanai Elohenu Melaka Olam Zurkal Ha Olamim Sadik Bahal Hado Road Ha El Hanemon Ha Omer Viosa Hamda Bel Umkayem Shakal Devarav Emet Bat Sedek Neman Atahu Adanoi Elohenu Venemanim Devarecha Vidavar Chad Midvarecha Acholo Yashuv Rekaham Ki Amelech Neman Varachaman Ata Baruch Ata Adonai Ha'el Hane'aman Bechol Devarav Amen Rachem Al Tzion Ki Beit Chayenu Vela Aluvat Nefesh Toshia Bimei Rabi Amenu Baruch Ata Adonai Mesameach Zion, Bivanech Amen. Samcheinu Adonai Eloheinu, Beliyahu Anavi Avdecha, Uv Malchut Beit David Mishichecha, Bimeira Yavohu, Viyageli Benu Al Kiso Lo Yeshev Zor, Velo Yinchalu Od Acherim Et Kevodo, Ki v'shem kachacha nishbata lo shelo yich b'nei ro le'olam va'ed baruch ata Adonai. Magein David, amein, al ha-Torah, v'yahavodaha, v'yal ha-Nevim, v'yal yom ha-Shabbat hazeh, v'yal yom ha-Kippurim hazeh, 
Shanatatalanu Adonai Elohenu Litu Shava Linu Kaha Lin Hilava Lisli Kaha Ukhapara Lukhavod Ulti Faret Alha Ko Adonai Elohenu Anach Nu Modim Lach Um Vahim Otah Eid Barach Shemacha Bufi Kalchai Tamid Lam Vaed Udvarcha Emet Vakayam La Ad Baruch Ata Adonai Melech Mochil Vesoleach La Avonot Tenu the La Avonot Amo Beches Roel Uma Avir Ashmo Tenu Vachal Shana Vishana Melech Akol Haaretz Makadesh Hashabat the Israel Viom Hakipu Rim Amen. Amazing. All right. Now, I need four people with the strength of pen who can each read a chapter in English to us. Who, who will volunteer to read chapter one? All right. Come on up, Richard. Page 344. Old Jonah, he lived in a whale. And the word of Adonai came to Jonah, son of Amittai. Get up, go to the great city of Nineveh and proclaim against it, for their evil deeds have risen before me. But Jonah got up to flee at Tashish, away from the presence of Adonai. And he went down to Jaffa and found there a ship heading for Tash Tarshish. And he paid its fare and went down into it. Uh, to head with them to Tarshish, away from the presence of Adonai. But Adonai hurled a great wind upon the sea, a storm at sea so great that the ship was in danger of being shattered to pieces. And the sailors were frightened and cried out, each to his own God, and flung the ship's cargo onto the sea to lighten their load. But Jonah had gone down into the hold, the lower deck of the vessel, and he lay down and fell into a deep sleep. And the captain approached him and said to him, what are you doing sound asleep? Get up, call to your God. Perhaps God will be kind to us and we will not perish. And they said, each man to his companion, let us cast lots that we might know on whose account this evil event has come to us. So they cast lots and the lot fell on Jonah. And they said to him, tell us, you who have brought this evil upon us, what is your trade and where have you come from? And what is your country and who are your people? And he said to them, I am a Hebrew, I revere Adonai, God of heaven, who made sea and dried land. The men felt great fear and they asked him, what have you done? Because the men knew he was fleeing from Adonai and for, and for so he had told them. And they asked him, what should we do to you to bring calm to the sea around us? For the sea was growing more and more stormy. So he said to them, lift me, lift me up and hurl me into the sea and the sea will calm down for you, for I know that this great storm came upon you because of me. And the crew rode hard to return to the dry land, but they could not do it, for the sea was raging more and more fiercely around them. And they called out to Adonai, saying, Please, Adonai, please do not let us perish because of the life of this man, and do not hold us guilty of shedding innocent blood. For you, Adonai, that which you desired you have brought about. And they lifted Jonah and hurled him into the sea, and then the sea stopped raging. The men revered Adonai, great was their reverence. So they offered to Adonai a sacrifice and made vows. A very vigorous reading. Oh, yes, well, we, we, we tried. That's, that was good. All right. Uh, do we have a volunteer for chapter two? Here we go. And Adonai provided a great fish to swallow Jonah, and Jonah was in the belly of the fish three days and three nights. Jonah prayed to Adonai, his God, from the belly of the fish, and he said, I called to Adonai in my distress, and God answered me. 
I cried out from the belly of the nether world, and you heard my voice. Into the depths you cast me, into the heart of the sea, and the floods engulfed me, all your billowing, breaking waves swept over me. And I thought to myself, I was banished from before your eyes. Will I ever again gaze upon your holy temple? The waters closed in over me, the deep engulfed me, rushes wrapped around my head. I descended to the low point of the mountains. The gates of the earth closed upon me forever. Yet you, Adonai, my God, raised up my life from the pit. When my life fainted away, I called Adonai to mind, and my prayer came to you, to your holy temple. They who cling to empty folly forsake their own welfare, but I, with a shout of thanksgiving, I will sacrifice to you. What I have vowed, I will fulfill. Rescue comes from Adonai. Adonai commanded the fish, and it spewed Jonah out upon dry land. All right, chapter three. Do I have a taker? Yes, Joel. Let's see. And the word of Adonai came to Jonah a second time. Get up, go to the great city of Nineveh. And call out to call out to to it the proclamation that I tell you. So Jonah got up and went to Nineveh, according to the word of Adonai. Now Nineveh was a great city of God, three days' journey across. And Jonah started out, made his way into the city, uh, the distance of a one-day walk. And he called out and said, Forty more days, and Nineveh shall be overturned." The people of Nineveh trusted in God, and they proclaimed a fast, and they put on sackcloth from the richest to the poorest, and the word reached the king of Nineveh, and he got up from his throne and took off his robe, put on sackcloth, and sat in ashes, and he cried out and said in Nineveh, by decree of the king and his nobles, no person or beast of flock or herd shall taste anything, they shall not graze, they shall not drink water, they shall be covered with sackcloth, person and beast and shall call loudly to God let all who turn back from their let all turn back from their evil ways and from the violence which is in their nimble fingers in their hands who knows God may turn and relent turn back from the heat of anger so that we do not perish God saw what they did how they were turning back from their evil ways and God relented from the evil plan for them and did not carry it out. Well done. All right, I need an anchor Jew. Who will do chapter four? Come on, please. But to Jonah, this was a great evil, and it made him angry. So he prayed to Adonai, saying, Please, Adonai, is this not what I said when I was still in my own country? This is why I fled to Tarnish to begin with, for I knew that you are a gracious and compassionate God, endlessly patient and abounding in steadfast love, ready to repent of evil. And now, Adonai, please take my life from me, for it is better for me to die than to live. And Adonai said, <clears throat> is it good for you to be angry? Then Jonah left the city, found a place east of the city, made himself a shelter there, and sat under it until the shade, until he might see what would become of the city. And Adonai Elohim provided a ground and made rise up over Jonah to give shade for his head and rescue him from his evil situation. And Jonah rejoiced with great joy because of the gourd, but at dawn the next day, God provided a worm that attacked the gourd and it withered. And as the sun rose, God provided an oppressive wind from the east and the sun beat down on Jonah's head, making him faint. He begged for death, saying, It is better for me to die than to live. And then God said to Jonah, Are you good and angry about the gourd? 
and he said, I am good and angry to the point of death. And then Adonai said, you pitted the gourd, which you neither worked for nor grow, grew, which appeared overnight and perished overnight. Should I then not have compassion or for the great city of Nineveh, a place of more than 120,000 human beings unable to tell their right hand from their left and many beasts. Now I'm going to invite you to turn to page 352 and we're returning the Torah to the ark all praise God's name, for God's name alone is truly sublime. Please rise. Who may ascend the mountain of the eternal, and who may rise up to the place where holiness abides, a person of clean hands and pure heart, who has never taken a false oath nor sworn deceitfully, such a person shall receive God's blessing and kindness from the well of salvation. It's Kai. be seated. Return again, return again, return to the land of your soul. Return to who you are, return to what you are, return to where you are, born and reborn again. We continue now with the afternoon tefillah on page 356. God, teach me your path. Your truth will guide my steps. Point my heart towards awe. Your name, the center of my devotion. Please rise if able. Adonai Page 360. <laughs> Who may be the 
Turn now to page 364. So make no thing for a pain, who matir asuri, who me kaye and munato, Rishane upon me tamo kapalkiru, who me yo mela, melech me me. Page three hundred and sixty eight. The Please be seated. We're going to turn now to page 372. And so, in your holiness, give all creation the gift of all. Turn to our reverent, turn our fear to reverence. Let us be witnesses to wonder, perceiving all nature as a prayer. Come alive. We bow to the sovereign of sovereignty of your strength, the primacy of your power. We yearn for connection with all that lives, doing your will with wholeness of heart. Awe-inspiring is your creation, all-encompassing your transcendent name. And so, in your holiness, give your people the gift of honor. Blessed with praise those who praise you, blessed with hope those who seek you. Give your believers a basis for faith, true happiness for the land of Israel, true, do- true, that. true joy in Jerusalem. May the sparks of God, of uh, David, your servant, soon grow bright enough for us to see a beam of light in the darkness, a promise of perfection. And so in your holiness, Give the righteous the gift of a vision bright and joy, bright with joy, a world where evil has no voice and the rule of malevolence fades like wisps of smoke. Good people everywhere will celebrate the stunning sight of arrogance gone from the earth. 
And you, you alone, Adonai, will reign over creation upon Mount Zion, home of your presence, and in Jerusalem, a city set apart by you. As the psalmist believed, the eternal shall reign for all times. Your generation, for all generations, Zion, hallelujah. You are holy, your name is holy, your name is awe. There is none divine beyond you, as the prophet Isaiah taught. The source of all might is exalted through justice, and the God of holiness made holy through righteousness. Baruch atah Adonai HaMelech HaKadosh. Praised are you, Adonai, holy sovereign. Page 382. Ata bichartanu mikol ha'amin, v'ahavta autanu, v'aratzita banu, v'romimatanu mikol ha'lishon, lishonot, v'kidshanu b'mitzvotecha, v'keravtanu malkenu l'avodatecha, v'shimcha ha'gadol v'hakadosh alenu karata. You chose us with love to be messengers of mitzvot, and through you, you made known your aspirations. Among all the many people, you gave us a pathway to holiness. Among all the great names, nations, you lifted us up and made yourself our sovereign. And so we seek you and serve you. We celebrate and celebrate our nearness to your presence. Your great and sacred name has become our calling together. In your love, eternal God, you have given us this Shabbat for holiness and rest and this Yom Kippur a day in which our wrongs are forgiven with love, a day of sacred assembly, a day to be mindful of our peoples going out from Egypt. Age 384. Our God and God of generations before us, may a memory of us ascend and come before you, may it be heard and seen by you, winning your favor and reaching your awareness, together with the memory of our ancestors, the memory of your sacred city, Jerusalem, and the memory of your people, this family of Israel. May we be remembered for safety, well-being, and favor, for love and compassion, for life and for peace on this day of atonement. And let us say, Amen. Zochreinu Adnai Eloheinu bo letova. Amen. bo levracha. Amen. bo lechayim. Amen. Eternal our God, remember us. Be mindful of us Amen. and redeem us for a life of goodness and blessing. Amen. Favor us with words of deliverance and memory. Show us the depth of your care. God, we await your redemption, for you reign with grace and compassion. Our God and God of our forebears, pardon our failings on this day of Shabbat and this day of atonement. Erase our misdeeds, see beyond our defiance. For Isaiah has said in your name, it is I, I alone, who wipe out your defiant acts. This is my essence. I shall pay no heed to your errors. And so the prophet said, as a cloud fades away, as mist dissolve into air, so do you wrongs and mistakes shall be gone. I will wipe them away. Come back to me that I may redeem you. And as you said to Moses, for this day of atonement shall be made to you for to purify you from all your wrongs and purify and pure you shall be in the presence of Adonai. God who is ours and God of our father and mother, may this rest on Shabbat bring you pleasure, lead us to holiness through your mitzvot, and may each of us find a portion of Torah that is ours. You bestow such goodness, teach us to be satisfied, to know the joy of your salvation. Let your holy Shabbat be our heritage, embraced freely with love, and may our people bring holiness to your name by resting on this day. Together, make our hearts pure so that we may be true service to you, for you are the forgiver of Israel. In every generation, granting pardon to the tribes of Yeshua, we have no God of forgiveness and pardon but you, you alone. You are blessed, Adonai, sovereign who forgives our failings and pardons the failings of your people, the house of Israel. You banish our guilt from year to year. You reign in majesty over all the earth. You sanctify Shabbat, the people Israel, and the day of atonement. Page 383. 
Retse Adonai Elohenu ba'amcha Yisrael utefilatam ba'ahava tikabel b'ratzon. Tihi l'ratzon tamid avodat Yisrael amecha. El karov b'chol koriet yorov p'nei lo avodecha v'tonenu sifot ruchecha ruchacha aleinu. Eternal our God, your people Israel yearns for your favor, receive their prayer with loving acceptance, and may you always desire your people's worship. Divine one, close to all who call upon you, bring your grace and presence near to those who serve you, pour forth your spirit upon us, and may our eyes see your merciful return to Zion. Baruch ata Adonai hamachazir shechino l'zion. Praised are you whose divine presence is felt again in Zion. Modim anach nu lak, page 398. Modim anach nu lak, sha'atahu arnai elohenu, velohe avotenu v'imotenu, le'olam va'ed. God who is ours, God of all generations, to you we are grateful forever, rock and protector of our lives. Your saving power endures from age to age. We thank you and tell the tale of your praise, your power in our lives, your caring in our souls, and the constant miracle of your kindness, morning, noon, and night. We call you goodness, for your compassion never ends. We call you mercy, for your love has no limit. We call you hope, now and forever. And for all these gifts, God of majesty, may your name come to be blessed and praised, our gratitude, a daily offering until the end of time. And inscribe your covenant partners for a life of goodness. And may all life resound with gratitude and faith in praise of your name. God, you sustain us and help us. Baruch atah Adonai hatov shimcha l'cha lahodot. Praised are you, Adonai, whose goodness deserves Thanks and praise. Page 404. Our God, divine presence whose path our ancestors walk, bless us now with words first bestowed on Israel in the time of Moses and Aaron, that threefold blessing given us through Torah that joins our hopes to them. Yivarecha Adonai v'yishmarecha, ken yehi ratzon. Ya'er Adnai Panave Lecha Vuchunecha, Kain Yi Ratzon. Yisa Adnai Panav Elecha Vyasem Lecha Shalom, Kain Yi Ratzon. May God bless you and protect you. May you receive the light of God's great, good, uh, kindness and grace. May God bestow favor upon you and grant you peace. Sim shalom tova uvracha chen vechesed vrachamim alenu vaokol amo Yisrael amcha barchenu avinu kulanu bechad baor panecha ki baor panecha natata alanu adnai elohenu. Let there be peace, grant goodness, blessing, and grace, constancy, and compassion to us and all Israel, your people. Avinu, bless and unite all human beings in the light of your presence, for your light has shown us a holy path for living. Devotion to love, generousness, blessedness, mercy, life, and peace. In your goodness, bless your people Israel with peace at all times. Let us and the whole family of Israel be remembered and inscribed in the book of life. May a life of goodness, blessing, and prosperity, may it be a life of peace. Baruch Nai. Hosei HaShalom, praised are you, eternal source of shalom. We take a moment now for our own silent prayers and meditations.
We turn now to page 412 for Slichot U Vidui, Forgiveness and Confession. As parents show tenderness to their children, may you show mercy to those who worship you. Like the heavens that tower above the earth, your love is powerful for those who revere you. Liberation is a gift from God, a blessing upon your people. You are the God of all we can perceive, our haven, the God of Jacob. And you are the God of all that is beyond our perception. The one who has faith in you is fortunate. Sovereign God, show us the way to freedom. Answer us on this day by calling out to you, or calling out to you. Moses prayed to God, you have been faithful to this people ever since Egypt. Please forgive their failings now in keeping with your boundless love. The shame ne'era v'yomer adnai salati k'divrecha. And God responded, I forgive you as you have asked. Together, we are your people and you are our God. We are your children and you are our father, our mother. We are the people who serve you and you call us to serve. We are the community, you are our portion. We are the legacy and you are our purpose. We are your flock and you are our shepherd. We are your vineyard and you watch over us. We are your work and you are our maker. We are your beloved and you are our lover. We are your treasure you are the one we cherish. We are your people and you reign over us. We offer you our words and all you offer us yours. So forgive us, pardon us, lead us to atonement. We turn now to the Vidui uh, Zuta. Uh, you don't have to do this. I will just do it in English unless you want to do it. Whatever, you want. Whatever I want. Wow, okay, that's a lot of power. Okay, we'll make you do it. All right. So, uh, beginning on the top of page 416. Elohei velohei avotenu v'imotenu, tavo lefanecha tefila tenu, v'al tit alam michit natenu, anachnu atze fanim, ukshe oref, lemor lefanecha, adnai eloheinu velohei avotenu v'imotenu, sadikim anachnu v'lochatanu, Aval anachnu atanu. Our God and God of all generations, may our prayer reach your presence. And when we turn to you, do not be indifferent. Adonai, we are arrogant and stubborn, claiming to be blameless and free of sin. In truth, we have stumbled and strayed, and we have done wrong. Come on up, my dear. <clears throat> Asham nu, Bagad nu, Gazal nu, Dibar nu dof 
Of these wrongs we are guilty. We betray, we steal, we scorn, we act perversely, we are cruel, we scheme, we are violent, we slander, we devise evil, we lie, we ridicule, we disobey, we abuse, we defy, we corrupt, we commit crimes, we are hostile, we are stubborn, we are immoral, we kill, we spoil, we go astray, we lead others astray. Our turning away from your mitzvot and laws of goodness is a hollow pursuit. You are just concerning all that happens in our lives. Your way is the way of truth, while ours leads to error. What can we say to you whose existence is beyond time and space? What words of our can reach your realm beyond the clouds, beyond heaven itself? Every hidden mystery, every revelation, surely you know them all. You know the secrets of the universe and the secrets of the human heart. You know and understand us, for you examine our interlives. Nothing is concealed from you, nothing hidden from your sight. Eternal One, our God and God of our ancestors, we pray that this be your will. Forgive all our wrongs, pardon us from every act of injustice, help us atone for all our moral favors, fa uh, failures. So now we go to the Vidui Rabbah. We'll do it in English. All right, join me. The ways we have wronged you, deliberately and by mistake, and the harm we have caused to your world through insincere promises. The way we have wronged you by judging others unfairly, and the harm we have caused in your world by making light of serious matters. The way we have wronged you by giving in to our hostile impulses, and the harm we have caused you in your world through condensation. The ways we have wronged you through our innermost thoughts and the harm we have caused in your world through the words of our mouth. The way we have wronged you through lies and deceit and the harm we have caused you in your world by mistreating a friend or neighbor. The way we have wronged you by hating without cause and the harm we have caused your world through hypocrisy. For all these failures of judgment and will, God of forgiveness, forgive us, pardon us, leading us to atonement. The ways we have wronged you openly and secretly, the harm we have caused in your world through our thoughtlessness, the ways we have wronged you by profaning your name in public, and the harm we have caused in your world through offensive speech, the ways we have wronged you through gossip and rumor, and the harm we have caused in your world through disrespect to parents and teachers the way we have wronged you through narrow-mindedness and the harm we have caused in your world through dishonesty in business, the ways we have wronged you through sexual immorality and the harm we have caused in your world through consumption of food and drink, the ways we have wronged you by betraying trust and the harm we have caused in your world through impulsive acts of malice. For all these failures of judgment and will, God of forgiveness, forgive us, pardon us, 
and turn us to atonement. Now we come to Avinu Malkenu on page 426. Avinu Malkenu, as Joseph wept and opened a forgiving heart to his brothers, our hearts should also be open to those who ask our forgiveness. Avinu Malkenu, as the high priest entered the innermost, sa- sa- the, I'm slowing down, folks. Shrine to atone, let our acts of tshuva touch our innermost life. Avinu Malkenu, as Jonah cried out to God, I thought I was driven away. Let us reach the divine from the depths of our being. Avinu Malkenu, as you said to Moses and Israel, you shall be holy for I am holy. Let us affirm today that we shall pursue holiness in our everyday lives, revering mother and father, providing for the poor, rising before the aged, loving neighbors and strangers as ourself. Avinu Malkenu, hear our voice. Please rise for Avinu Malkenu. Avinu Malkenu, Katanu Lefaneka. Avinu Avinu Malkenu, Enlanu Melech Ela Ata. Avinu Malkenu, Avinu Malkenu, Asei Imanu Laman Shemecha. Avinu Malkenu, Avinu Malkenu, Kadesha Lenu Shanatova. Avinu Malkenu, Zachor Ki Afar Anan Avinu Malkenu, Tehe Sha Hazot Shaak Rakamin Baal Ratzon Milifaneka. Avinu Malkenu, Avinu Malkenu, Kamol Alenu, Baal Ola Lenu, Vitapenu. Avinu Malkenu, Avinu Malkenu, Shemei Laman Kudchim Al Yehudeka. Avinu Malkenu, Avinu Malkenu, Ase Laman Harugim Al Shem Kodesheka. Avinu Malkenu, act for the sake of those killed because they were Jews. Avinu Malkenu, Ase Laman Ve'e Uve'esh Uve'mayim Al Kedush Shemecha. Avinu Malkenu, act for the sake of those who suffer prior to the Lord to Please be seated for a moment. We're going to conclude our afternoon service and then we are going to take time to remember the martyrs of 107. So page 430, ours is the duty, Alenu. Ours the duty to listen and ours the duty to praise, our the duty to respond to what we hear, to raise questions, to build houses of studies and wish to ask them to praise the creator for creating, to praise the creator for rest, to praise the God of Torah for challenge of Torah, to praise the God of eternity for every hour, every day, to plant and build, to seek peace and pursue it. Ours the duty to do justice, ours the duty to be Israel, to fix the broken, to open the doors of hope, 
to bow before a commanding God that speaks to us from Sinai, from history, from deep within the heart. Hear, O Israel, it is not your duty to complete this work, but you may not turn away. Please rise for the Elena. give us a few moments we're going to technically set up for this presentation and this service and uh, rather than produce a whole bunch of, uh, of separate little prayer pamphlets we decided we would do this come on up Bob and let's get this set uh, we I'm going to be doing this in concert with my wife Robin All right now uh, I'm going to assume that this is going to work. If you prefer, we can move everyone over on the right to the left. Why don't we cluster? Left to the right. What, what's that? Why don't we cluster? We can yeah, well, cluster. Okay, you're clustering. I gotta get in here. Right. Wait, right. Okay. Wait, wait. Rabbi, did you, did you say right to the left or left to the right? Well, my right <laughs> to my left. <laughs> I was going to have everyone move over this well, way. Well, basically, just so you can see the screen. <laughs> okay, well, so come on over here. Wherever you can see. Yep, just change location according to what you're comfortable with. Hey, hang, on, hang on, Rabbi, because I've got to... Oh, okay. Um, Don't touch it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't touch it. <laughs> okay, no so we turn our notes on. I'm sorry, what the, the it's got too much tilt to it. Okay. All I have to do is remove a book. I'm going to put one back, back up there. With Jews, it's always books. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's not good. Okay. There you go. Wow. All right. It's like a sports bar. Okay, hang on. <laughs> hang on, because now I need to try to adjust the camera. To have to lose. Yep. Okay. 
Okay. He, 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 he hit my PowerPoint before I did, so I don't know. <laughs> Is it still there? No. Nope. They got it all. Okay. Okay, and are you getting full screen of this? Yes, you are. Okay, all right. So. October 7th has indelibly left its mark on our hearts and memories. We remember where we were, what we were doing, and the sinking sense of horror and loss of what should have been a day of celebration and joy of our Torah. Too many Israeli lives were lost, too many hostages were taken, too many families were displaced. The aftermath has unleashed one horror after another, raising waves of anti-Semitism in the diaspora, widespread evacuations in Israel's north. Hundreds of Israeli soldiers have fallen in battle, and tens of thousands of innocent Gazans killed because of Hamas's action and Israel's response. There are times to address each of these horrors, to demand hostages be returned home, to reckon with anti-Semitism at home and abroad, to soothe the divisions within the Jewish community. But there will be a time for healing and rebuilding, God willing, speedily. But today, on the, at the anniversary of the worst violence against Jews since the Holocaust, our task is to bear witness, to remember, and to mourn. We hope these readings, prayers, and poems will provide support, meaning, and connection as you commemorate the anniversary of October 7. The place where we are rigid. The place where we are right now is not a generative place. Amachai was right about that. It's a small place, the place where we are truly, fully right. No wonder the earth here, there is so hard. If we never leave that place, all we can do is circle and stalk like a lion in a cage, pressing down the earth beneath the weight of our surety until it gleams in a polished concrete. Nothing can grow in such a place, not flowers, not ideas, not empathy, certainly not those who never leave. If we live our lives in the place where we are right now, if we are only engaged with the world with where we might be wrong, uh, wrong Though the imporous, rigid glass of our fishbowl, if only we observe the world of nuance and doubt from a distance, as we continue to swim within the waters we know, then we are destined, damned to be like the goldfish, whose container determines how much it can grow. Oops. No. Too active. All right, uh, we're going to, oh, here we go. Oop, no, this is rather slippery, Bob. I wouldn't use the mouse, are you trying to use the mouse? I have, I've not been using a mouse. Oh, I am using a mouse, yeah, yes. Don't use, don't use the mouse. If, you if you're not a Mac person, it's gonna make you crazy. Thank you, Bob. <laughs> just use the, just yeah, use the space just, bar. Yeah. Just use the space okay. bar, it'll All right. reach you. How they sat alone, captive women and captive men, sitting there still, 120 men, women, elders and children, Crying, they are crying at night, tears on their cheeks, and there is no one to comfort them. Norel Manzuri, 25, and Roya Manzuri, 22, dual U.S. Israeli citizens from Hod Hasharon were murdered by Hamas terrorists at the Supernova Music Festival on October 7th. Roya's body was found first, and she was buried on October 12th while the family held out hope that Norell would be found alive and thought she may have been kidnapped. But a few days later, her body was also located and she was laid to rest October 15th. They are survived by their parents, Manny and Sigal, younger brother Shai, 
Narelle's boyfriend, Amit Cohen, was also with them at the rave, attempting to shield them and murdered alongside them. Norel and Roya were both born in Los Angeles, according to family, and attended the Temple Israel of Hollywood Jewish Day School before they moved to Israel. While sitting Shiva for Roya and waiting to hear about Norel, their parents took part in a Zoom call with U.S. President Joe Biden. During the call, they received a knock on the door informing them that Norel had been killed. Their parents said, the authorities told them not to view the bodies for identification. It is better to remember them beautiful. Oh, how she sat alone, near O's, full of blood, said her wrote like a widow, the city stunned, who is faithful to her? Oh, how they sat alone in the shelter room, one family and another and another and another. Oh, how they sat alone, the many-eyed women at the observation posts, there, and there was no listening and deliverance, none. Oh, how they sat alone, young women and men, hiding in pits and shrubs, their dancing halted, and who will rescue them? I am Rishun Katzman, 32, an American-Israeli lecturer on philosophy, politics, politics and Israel society was killed in Kibbutz Holit on October 7th. A member of the Kibbutz's local security team, he was retroactively recognized as a fallen soldier with the rank of Master Sergeant in the Reserves. He is survived by his parents, Hannah and Daniel, and his siblings Ezra, Tova, Noe, Yedadia, and Sylvia. He was buried on October 12th in Petak Tikva. His uncle Abe Kasman described him in a Facebook post as a musician, a mechanic, a horticulturalist, writer, academic, PhD, and a very good grandson to my father. Born in Israel to American immigrant parents, Katzman had a bachelor degree from the Open University in Philosophy and Political Science, a master's degree from Ben-Gurion University in Political Politics and PhD from the University of Washington in International Studies. He was active in several local peace organizations. His neighbor Avital Ali Ham told CNN that the two men, the two of them were hiding in a closet as Hamas terrorists stormed Kibbutz Holy in October 7th, and he protected her with his body. He was murdered, she told CNN. I was saved. He was a wonderful person. He was a talented person. He was a funny person. He was someone you wanted to live. Count our blessings. Count each day we're reminded in our Psalms because every day is a gift and life carries with it no guarantees. So there is much we don't know, so much we can't account for, so much we can ever foresee. What is here today may not be here tomorrow and what is true in this moment may not be true in the next. October 7th is but our latest reminder, an exceedingly painful one at that. For the world we inhabited in October 6th, is very different than the one we inhabit today. The ground had not yet shifted beneath our feet. The earth was not yet ruptured, and the soil had not yet curdled with the blood of untold innocence. But one day can change everything. One day can turn the world upside down, and one day can cause an entire nation to question who they are and what they will become. And so, what can we do how can we live in the face of this uncertainty that governs our lives so dispassionately? Our tradition encourages us to lean heavily into gratitude by savoring what we have and who we're with, knowing these gifts could vanish the very next hour or day or week or month. Perhaps this is why our tradition urges us to say a hundred blessings a day. There are so many moments, both grand and grandular, to relish. In a world where everything we know can shift irre irrevocably in an instant, let us hold tight to the blessing in our midst. Let us embrace and, uh, embrace and laugh with urgency and passion. Let us say the important things to the important people, because if we don't say them now, we may never get the chance. Shana Luke, 22-year-old Israeli-German whose kidnapped video by Hamas terrorists reverberated around the world, was officially declared dead on October 30th. 
Luke attended the Supernova Music Festival near Raim in October 7th when Hamas terrorists stormed the rave, killing over 350 people and kidnapping many others. Video circulated around the globe depicting an unconscious Luke lying on the back of a truck as Hamas terrorists paraded her around. For weeks, her family clung to the hope that she was alive and information circulated that she was treated in a hospital in Gaza. But on October 30th, her family was informed that Luke's death had been confirmed after a piece of her skull may have been identified. Reports indicate that she was likely dead before or shortly after she was brought into Gaza. On May 17th, 2024, the IDS revealed that her body had been recovered by troops from Gaza and brought back to Israel for burial. Nisim Luke, her father, told Channel 13 News that the family was glad to at least find some closure. We know she is dead. We know she didn't suffer. We also know a minute we also knew a minute before the murders came, she was dancing. She was happy and she prayed. She went wild with all her friends surrounding her and she had fun, he added. She was a loving person with a huge heart. She had many friends, Ricarda said. She was an artist. She liked to travel, learn new languages, people all over the world. She loved to dance and music. Eloheinu velohe avotenu v'imotenu. God and God of our ancestors, we ask your blessing for the state of Israel and for all Israel's inhabitants. Makor hachayim, source of life, bless and strengthen those who defend the land of Israel. Ensure their safe and speedy return home. Protect them and guide them. Karush Baruch Hu, holy and blessed one. Show Israel's leader your path so that they may act with wisdom, courage and dedication and they may be unwavering in their pursuit of peace. Strengthen their hearts, but, uh, but keep them from hardening. Matir Asurim, freer of the captives, return all who have been kidnapped safe and sound to their homes without the spilling of more innocent blood and without any more souls being tarnished with horrific scars. Bal Harachamim, master of compassion, Help us to hold the humanity and the heartache of the Jewish people while also holding the humanity and the dignity of the Palestinians. As we made in our made in your image, remind us of your way, spread over us your shelter of peace and fulfill that vision of your prophets. They shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not take up sword against nation. They shall never again know war. And together let us say, Amen. Sergeant First Class Ohad Cohen, 20 years old, a soldier in the Israeli Air Force Elite Shaldag unit Shaldag. from Idan, was killed battling Hamas terrorists on October 7th in Kibbutz Beri. The morning of the attack, Ohad was on duty with the members of his unit when the assault began, and they were the first military forces to be sent to Beri, where hundreds of Hamas terrorists had invaded. They arrived via helicopter around 9 a.m. The 13 Shaldag survivors entered the kibbutz, and Ohad was the first soldier killed there that day, leading the small number of troops to decide to withdraw to the entrance of the kibbutz and evacuate the wounded. Further military enforcements did not show up for several hours. In her eulogy, his mother, Michal, wrote, Ohad was a child full of love, full of goodness. Wherever he went, you made everyone fall in love with you. And how could they not? You always ran to help. You were always happy. You did everything with ease and with love, she added. There was a time when dad and I couldn't go anywhere in the Ar Arava without someone approaching us and saying, oh, you're Ohad's parents. You have the most wonderful child in the world. And when they left, we would whisper, who was that? <laughs> on Rosh Hashanah, it is written, and on Yom Kippur is sealed. Is this what you intended for this year? Were those children really sealed in the book of death? How many shall pass away and how many shall be born? Who shall live and who shall die? Who shall run and who shall hide? Can I see that book of life, God? Who shall reach the end of their days and who shall not? Who shall become a mourner, a widow, an orphan? Who shall perish by water and who by fire? Who by gun? and who by rocket, who by sword, and who by wild beast, who by combat, and who by fear. 
who by famine and who by thirst, why must we still ask about these? Who by earthquake and who by plague, who by lack of medical care, who by strangulation and who by stoning, who by power and who by weakness? Who shall have rest and who shall wander? Who shall become exiled once more? Who shall be at peace and who shall be pursued? Who will be targeted by acts of bigotry and hate? Who shall be at rest and who shall be tormented? And who shall sleep well and who will be kept awake by nightmares? Who shall be exalted and who shall be laid brought low? Whose voice will be shunned and whose life will be valued? Who shall become rich and who shall be impoverished? And who will claim victory and who will lose hope? But repentance, prayer, and righteousness avert the severe decree. And yet I feel so helpless. Canadian born peace activist Vivian Silver, 74, was killed by Hamas terrorists in her home at Kibbutz Be'eri Be 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 on October 7th. For more than a month, she was declared missing and believed to be captured and held hostage in Gaza. But on November 14th, her family confirmed that her remains had finally been identified via DNA. One of her sons, Yonatan Sagan, was on the phone with his mother when gunmen arrived in Be'eri, Be where he heard gunshots outside her window. He told her to hang up so she could stay quiet, he told the BBC. They began to text one another on WhatsApp. The la he last heard from her around 11 a.m. that Saturday as Sylvia hid inside a closet in the house and told her son that the terrorists were inside the house. She believed that a massacre was happening and told her son that she loved him. She wrote me, they're inside the house, it's time to stop joking and say goodbye. And I wrote back that I love you, mom, I have no words. I am with you, Vivian responded, I feel you. Silver was known for her peace activism, including her involvement in the organization called Women Wage Peace, as well as the Road to Recovery, driving sick Palestinians from Gaza to Israeli hospitals. She held a meeting of international supporters of Women Wage Peace just a few days before the Hamas attack, a few days before the Hamas attack. Achot Katana renewed. The enemy dared to break the Ten Commandments. He stole my sister without protections, the captive trapped in the dungeon. When and who will redeem the hostages? Let this year and its curses end. The enemy reduced her to heathen and despised her, destroyed her trees and her soul. How does this happen to your holy people? Please heal her suffering. Let this year and its curses conclude. What's been wrong must be fixed. It's on us to stop the war. Together we will win, and meanwhile, we will renew God's covenant. Let this year and its blessings begin. Deborah Matthias, 50, and her American-Israeli husband, Shlomo Matthias, 49, both musicians were murdered in their home in Kibbutz Holit on October 7th, 2023, as they were protecting their son, Rotem, with their body. Rotem 16 was shot but survived, while his sisters, Shached and Shir, were hiding out elsewhere and were unharmed. Mom and Dad, they sacrificed their lives to save me, Rotem told CNN. In an interview after he was released from the hospital, he said he asked to keep the bullet that was removed from his stomach during surgery. I want to just keep it as a memory, to never forget them, and remember that even though I though it was the hardest and lowest point in my life, I found some hope that maybe I could live and share the memories and how I saw my parents with other people. They will live on in memories and stories. Deborah's father, Ilan Troen, professor at Brandeis University, said they found out about Deborah and Shlomo's deaths via text messages from Rotem, who hid for hours until he could be rescued. Trump told NPR that his daughter was a singer and his son-in-law taught music at a mixed Arab and Jewish high school. These are people that were committed to the good life for everybody, and yet it is they who paid the price for hatred. A silent prayer. During a moment of silence, bring me the grief of my people, centuries born and centuries old. Let it inspire me to still love the world. Connect me with fleeting grace and the prophet's power to keep opening up my soul, 
even when it's seared with loss. Bring me the courage to quiet my desperate need for answers by letting hearts touch hearts on some imagined coastal plain. Connect me with the calm of a desert valley after a supplies flash flood, the rich pause between musical notes for the serenity of a Jerusalem street on Shabbat. We're gonna take a moment now for our own silent reflections and prayers. Apichad Kusaram, 29, and his brother Hong Dep Nusaram, 26, from the Nong Song Hong district of Kongan province in northern Thailand, were murdered by Hamas terrorists on Kibbutz Nior on October 7th. Both brothers were working as farmhands on the Kibbutz and were among the 11 Thai nationals slain when Hamas attacked their living quarters at, <clears throat> on the outskirts of Nir Oz. Karat Fa Fluan, a Thai laborer who survived the attack on the kibbutz, told Ma'ariv that, I'll never forget that terrifying and horrible moment when the Hamas came into our shelter and started shooting in every direction. I mostly remember chaos and confusion, he said, noting that he had blocked out some of the details, the moments when I saw my friends murdered before my eyes. Pongtep's body was returned to Thailand on October 20th for a cremation ceremony. Apichart's body arrived in his homeland on October 27th, 26th. Shabirak Avotenu Vimotenu Abraham Yitzak Yaakov Sara Rivka Rachel Vulea Huyivarecha Venu Uanimu, God of Senesh and Ben Gurion, Bialik and Rachel, Golda and Rabin, Sur Israel, Rock of Israel. Oops. <laughs> yep. I got it. There we go. Protect these captives, shield them from the worst of the pain, guard them from torture, deliver them from captivity, help our sisters and brothers safeguard their souls, comfort them in this darkness, deliver them from this evil. Achinu v'achodchinu, all the people of Israel are our families. We pray for all of them for the soldiers and free spirits, for the grandmothers and the babies. We weep for all of them. We hope for all of us. We may tomorrow be more peaceful than yesterday. Al na tachor natua, al tishkach et hatikva, ha shivenu hashuva el eretz hatova. Do not uproot what has been planted. Do not forget our hope. Return our captives and our family so that we may all return to the good land. And let us all say, Amen. Amen. Dolav Yehud, 35, was murdered by Hamas at Kibbutz Nior on October 7th. For eight months, Dolav was believed to be a hostage in Hamas, by Hamas in Gaza until on June 24th, his remains were discovered in Israeli territory. His sister Arbel is still believed to be held hostage in Gaza, along with her boyfriend Ariel Curio, as well as Ariel's brother, whose wife and twin daughters were also taken captive and later freed in the November hostage release deal. On the morning of the attack, Dolev, a volunteer medic from Magon, De Magon David Adom and United Hatzala, left home to help administer to the wounded and himself killed in the onslaught. 
On the 30-day anniversary of Dole's funeral, his wife Sigal, who had been with Dole since they met in the sixth grade, wrote that she couldn't believe, I am standing here and you are not by my side, not here to hold my hand, not here so I can lean on you, so that you can catch me so I don't fall. You can probably see that our friends are surrounding me all the time, making sure to embrace, to care for, to love like every close family member, Sigal wrote, but there is a part that will never be filled and it belongs to you. There will always be a hole in my heart in the shape of you. Cry out to the heavens for the innocent taken captive. Cry out to the earth soaked in so much blood. Rail at the sky for the raped and the tortured on the brutal day that hate embodied and evil incarnate. O oh, grief of grief, so oh, sorrow of sorrow, O oh, heartache of heartaches, my bed is soaked in tears. I have become ashes and sackcloth. My heart refuses consolation. For what consolation can there be with so many murdered and kidnapped, brutalized and maimed in a single day of terror? God of compassion, grant a perfect rest under your canopy of peace to those murdered on October 7, 2023, those whose bodies were snatched, those who expired in captivity, and those who fell defending their homes in the land on that day and in the days, weeks, and months after. God of mercy, grant release from the terrors and the nightmares of captivity to the hostages who have been taken, who have been freed, and to those who remain prisoners in body or spirit, them, their families and friends, and all whom they have touched. Grant Rufua Shlema, complete healing to all the wounded and the injured of body and soul. God of life, bless the defenders and the protectors of Israel with safety and strength. Bless our military and political leaders with wisdom and fortitude. Bless us all with hope for the day when peace at long last comes for the people Israel, for all the inhabitants of the land and for our neighbors and for all the Middle East and throughout the four corners of the earth. For those who died by violence. Creator of life, source of healing, grant peace to your great shelter of peace to our loved ones whose lives ended abruptly through acts of senseless violence. With sadness we recall the joy they brought into the world. Those voices and faces we will never forget. May these precious memories console us. May there be light, a guide our way through the shadow of loss. We long with all our being for the end to baseless hatred, war, and violence. May a time come soon when no one will suffer or die at the hands of another. May our loved one's soul be embraced by you, free of pain now, held in tenderness and love. We will cherish forever these lives now lost, blessing in the bond of everlasting life blessing here and now. The night before 23-year-old Israeli U.S. citizen Hirsch Goldberg Pollen was taken hostage by Hamas terrorists on the supernova desert rave. He ate dinner with his family and then left at 11 p.m. to go camping. His mother, Rachel Goldberg, last heard from Hirsch early in the morning on September, on October 7th, when her son sent two WhatsApp messages, one telling his parents he loved them and the other saying, I'm sorry. After speaking to several of Hirsch's close friends, they were able to figure out that Hirsch and his best friend, Anir Shapira, went to the rave. The two were last seen in a crowd, crowded field shelter filled with people who tried to escape from the Hamas attack on the morning of October 7th. Goldberg Pollen's arm was blown off from the elbow as Hamas terrorists lobbed grenades into the shelter. Shapira threw at least a half dozen grenades back out of the shelter before he was killed. Goldberg Pollen was seen alive in a video released by terrorists in April. His parents had campaigned prominently for his release, frequently meeting with U.S. President Joe Biden and other officials. In a brief statement, Goldberg Pollen's family said that they, are heart they had broken hearts. We will grieve losses for a long time, work the trauma history embedded in our stories. If we understand, we have to tell others what it's like to be us. And when other people understand us, we will understand others better. 
how history ex exhales in every breath we inhale, will we'll be precise with mystery language and treat each other with kindness. Above all kindness and gentleness and understanding and respect and without judgment, without judgment most of all. Pick ourselves up and ease off the pain. It's a narrow bridge and we must not add to the hurt. Be easy on ourselves for not knowing and for not having known, for having done this and not done that. What we carry from the past, heavy, sacred, hard-hearted, we have to treat ourselves with kindness and with mercy because it's right and we need to heal. We only heal with mercy. Eli Rufai, 42, and his sister Sharon Rufai, 27, both from Yavna, were murdered by Hamas terrorists near the Supernova Music Festival on October 7. Sharon was beginning the festival with her boyfriend, Sha'ar Mansour, when the Hamas attack began, and another friend, Oreo Ricardo. When the rocket fire started, the three left for their car and had reached the Mephalsim junction where Shahar was shot by Hamas terrorists and the car flipped. Sharon called her brother Eli in a panic. He immediately set out to try and help her. Although when Sharon realized how many terrorists were lying in wait, she told him, turn back, but he didn't listen. Their family said, when he neared the junction, he was shot by a cell of terrorists and the family believes Sharon was on the phone with him at the time and heard the gunfire. Her mother said, she later spoke to her on the phone as she was trying desperately to escape alive. Sharon said she was sorry. She called Eli. Sorry, I ruined your life. We're going to try and escape, but I don't know if we'll make it out. That was the last her family heard from her. Shahar and Oria were also killed that day. After several days, the Rafai family was informed that Sharon's body had been identified. She was buried on October 12th in Yavna. Several days later, Eli's body was identified. He was buried on October 16th alongside her. The diameter of the massacres was the length of Israel and the depth of the universe. It stretched to every continent, every college campus and social media to spread information and disinformation, twisting and distorting morality, redefining madness, it wreaked havoc and wrecked lives in Israel and Gaza, in kitchens and living rooms, in bedrooms and porches, in souls and hearts. The diameter of the visit was the length of Israel, the distance to California, and everyone and everywhere we will speak of it. The mission stretched our compassion in minds and challenged our faith in human nature. It struck us with awe in every call in our being. We saw the resilience of our people as we strove together to answer the unspoken question, where shall we place all this pain? We were messengers and witnesses, representatives with wishes to help. We did and we did and we will. The diameter of the hugs is the length of an Israeli flag and the width of a talit large enough to enwrap every Israeli who hurts right now, and therefore every Israeli with the comfort of our love. And with a strand of tachlet, uh, tachelet, uh, turquoise and the tzitzit to remind us all that the morning will come and we will say the Shema someday with one voice. Eden Roshalmi, 24, a bartender from Tel Aviv, had gone to the Nova party with a group of friends. When the terrorist attacked the rave, she called her older sister, Shana, Shani, who stayed on the phone with her for hours, along with her younger sister, May. They were on the line when you saw me when she hid in a car with friends who had been murdered, pretending to be dead. They stayed on the line when she went to hide in thorny bushes. They reminded her to breathe. For Four hours, the sisters were on the phone together until they heard gunshots and Yashumi cried, Shani, they caught me. After that, the phone went dead. Blessing bread brought from the supermarket. Our blessings say, thank you, God, for bringing forth bless uh, bread from the earth. 
But this bread didn't come from the earth. It came from a store, from a factory, from ground flour and wheat and earth. The bread did not sprout forth. It was created by human hands. We don't thank God for the wheat, which actually made from the earth. God did not create bread, but God knew we could. My children ask, how do we pray to God to make peace? I tell them, God makes peace like God makes bread, which is to say we all have the necessary ingredients. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to invite you now to please rise for El Malay Rahamim. El Malay Rahamim Shochen Bimrahim Kanse Minucha Nichona Tachat Kanfe Hashakina Im Kedushin Utorin Kazohar Harakia Masirin Lishmot Yakirenu Shahalhu the Olamav, Bal Harachamim, Yasti Rehem, but Seter Kinafav the Olamim, but Yitzror Bitzror, Hachaim et Ishmatam, Arunai Hu Nachalatam, the Yanuahu, the Shalom al Mishkagav, but Yomar Amen. Merciful God, God Most High, let there be perfect rest for all these souls of our loved ones who have gone into eternity. May they find shelter in your presence, holy um, uh, among presence among the holy and pure, whose light shines like the radiance of heaven. Compassionate God, hold them close to you forever. Shield them with your wings. May their souls be bond, bound up in the bond of eternal life. May they find a home in you, and may they rest in peace. And let us all say together. Amen. That concludes our presentation for October 7th. Thank you all. Uh, I'm going to send you on your way. Uh, we're going to reconvene at 6 o'clock for Yisker, where we will honor our own loved ones who have passed away. If you want to, you can stay in the building, but uh, we're going, the rest of us are going to adjourn to our homes until 6 o'clock. Uh, I do want to remind you that we will be having a last shofar sounding at the end of Yom Kippur. So if you have a shofar at home, please bring it with you so that you can use it and include it and we can raise our voice in a renewed sense of hope in the coming year. Thank you all. Zomkab, an easy fast.